insanely expensive and also like really comfortable like I just couldn't justify it yeah this is the first time I go to the gym and I have like a matching outfit and I feel cute going to the gym even though I don't want to go to the gym <laughs> or, like, you, still you know feel good. you're right I'm doing I'm doing sprints and I'm dying inside but I still feel good <gasps> they're getting married I think like the excitement, the initial excitement of being able to have a little bit of creative control. I mean, it's just such a, it's a cool opportunity to be able to put my personal stamp on, on something. something. I said yes because I, like I said, I'm super passionate about it. Like it's something I wear all the time, something I would want to gift to people. Um, and I, it makes me feel good about my body and I want that for other people as well. So I it just felt like a no-brainer. I just wanted to, it to be inclusive, like of like all different like body types and skin. Like I just I like how I feel in the clothes, and so I want other people to feel that way as well. And I like the colors. Like I really love that we picked the bright colors because they feel happy. There's something about it, like putting on a color that's like a statement mm -hmm. and feeling good in it, that it makes you feel, it just makes you feel confident. It makes you feel bold and I like that. Well, I spent 22 years, 20, how old am I? <laughs> I spent like I think 21 years not being on a 
on a Netflix show, like, and, and just really trying to figure out, like, what am I gonna do with my life? Like, I don't know. I was in LA for three years, um, before anything really happened, and it was, like, it was crazy because, I mean, like, those are supposed to be my college years, so that whole time I'm thinking, like, did I make the biggest mistake of my life? So there's a lot of, like, insecurity and, and a lot of doubt that comes from that. I've been diagnosed with depressive anxiety and that was one of those things that I really really battled with um I battled with for a long time but in LA it was especially severe because it was the first time I was realizing like I was on my own and I didn't know sometimes where like gas was gonna come from or like groceries were gonna come from it was um it was definitely there was a lot of doubt and there were a lot of times where I was like you know I might just like I just I'm, I might just go home. Like, I think I should go back to college. Like, you know, the, the odds of me doing something with this are pretty slim. Um, and then Outer Banks happened. Oh.